Hey everyone and welcome back to The Breakdown. Today I'm going to be showing you how to download and install Voxel Minimap in Minecraft 1.16.1. We've not updated this tutorial in a while, so we're going to update it today for 1.16.1 and show you how to get a minimap in Minecraft 1.16.1. First and foremost, though, we do have one from our sponsor, which is Apex Minecraft Hosting. Go to the first link down below, thebreakdown.xyz slash Apex. Get an incredible 24-hour DNOS Break and Minecraft server for you and your friends. We actually love Apex so much that we host our own server, play.breakdowncraft.com on them. So if you are looking to start a Minecraft server, look no further than Apex Minecraft Hosting. You can check them out again at the first link down below the breakdown.xyz slash Apex to get your server set up in under five minutes. Nevertheless, let's go ahead and get Voxel Minimap. What we want to do is go to the second link down below. That's going to take you here. This is our text tutorial for installing Voxel Minimap, but for this video, just click on the yellow download Voxel Minimap button. That'll take us up to the official Voxel Minimap download page where when you're here, you want to come over to the right hand side, scroll down, and make sure it says Fabric at the beginning of the download. So in this case, it says Fabric, as you can see very clearly there, Fabric, and then it is Voxel Minimap for 1.16. Awesome. We can click on the purple download link to the right of that, and it will immediately take us off and the download will begin. Pretty simple stuff. So take us off, download, and then boom, in the bottom left, we will see Fabric Mod Voxel Map has started to download. We do need to keep that file. It's 100% safe to keep. As you can see, over 8 million people have downloaded it. Now, if you're on Mozilla Firefox, it'll pop up in the screen of your screen and ask you if you want to save it. You do want to save the file. And we still need to download the Fabric Mod Loader here. And this is basically the mod loader that's going to allow Voxel Map to work in game. So whenever you have Voxel Map downloaded, go to the third link down below. That'll take you here. This is the official Fabric Mod Loader download page where you just want to click on Download Installer Universal slash dot jar. Click on that and it will download in the bottom left, right, like so. As you can see, Fabric Installer, boom. We will need to keep that file. If you're on Mozilla Firefox, you need to save it in the center of your screen. So as you can see, Fabric Installer downloaded in the bottom left. Now there's still one more thing we need to download and that is the Fabric API. The Fabric API is basically an API mod that is going to hook into both the Fabric Launcher and the Voxel Map and make them all work together. So. Anyway, you need to download this. It is in the description down below. I think the fourth link. I'm out of, like, I'm confused at this point what link it is, but it's linked down below. It'll say download Fabric API and have a link next to it. Click that link and it will take you here. Then come over here to the right hand side and scroll down. Again, we want to make sure we get the 1.16 version. So find Minecraft 1.16 there. And then click on the purple download link to the right of that. After that, the download will begin after just a few seconds. Boom, right like so. It's going to download. We again will need to keep this file in the bottom left. It's 100% safe to keep. It's been downloaded about 2.9 million people. On Mozilla Firefox, you'll need to save it in the center of your screen. So yeah, do that. Now we can finally minimize our browser. And here on our desktop, we have the Fabric API, we have the Fabric Installer, and we have the Fabric Voxel Mod, right? So we have the Voxel Minimap Mod, we have the Fabric Installer, and we have the Fabric API. We're actually going to be starting off with the Fabric Installer, but first and foremost, what if these aren't on your desktop? Well, don't worry about it. They're going to be found in your Downloads folder. So to find that, click the little Windows icons in the top left of my screen, bottom left of your screen, click that little Windows icon in the top or bottom left of your screen, and then go ahead and type in Downloads. You're going to have this Downloads File folder. When you click on that, you will find your a mini map and fabric mods in here. Drag them to your desktop just for ease of use. Now we need to focus on getting the fabric installer set up. To do that, right click on the fabric installer, click on open with. You should then have Java, click on Java and click OK. Then it's going to open up the uh, Fabric Mod Installer here. But what if you don't have Java? Or what if your files don't even look like this? They don't look like these Java coffee cups. They look like just blank files, or they look like you know zip files, or they look like WinRAR files. What do you do in that case? If you can't open this at all, or if they just don't look correct? Well, the solution is this. This is how to download and install Java for Minecraft mods. It's going to show you how to get the correct version of Java for Minecraft mods, like Voxel Minimap, to get them set up, running, and working perfectly. So go there, get that, download Minecraft mods, and get them up and running. Now, if that doesn't work, you download Java, you're still having issues, you need to run the jar fix. And this is going to make all the jar files on your computer work with Java once again, basically making them link together and work perfectly. So go here, get Java first, then run the jar fix, and then finally, you should be able to right click on the Fabric Installer, make sure it is the Fabric Installer and not the Fabric API. You want to right click on the Fabric Installer, click on Open With, click on Java, and click OK. That's then going to open up the Fabric Installer right like so, where you just want to make sure Minecraft 1.16 is selected. You want to make sure everything else is left the same, so just confirm 1.16 is selected, 1.16.1 I should say. Leave everything else the same and then click Install. It'll then say Done, and then Successfully Installed. Fabric Loader for 1.16.1 has been successfully installed. Click OK, and then you can close out of the Fabric Installer and delete it from your desktop. Now on our desktop, we have the Fabric API and the Voxel Map Mod. To get these installed, you want to click on that little Windows icon again. It's in the top left of my screen, bottom left of your screen, that little Windows icon in the top or bottom left of your screen, and then go ahead and type in 
run are you in you'll then have this run app here and in the text box within this app you want to type in percent app data percent percent sign app data percent sign and hit enter that will open up our roaming folder here where you'll have a dot minecraft folder open up that dot minecraft folder and you should have a mods folder but nick I don't have a mods folder. What do I do? Well, don't freak out, because guess what? Look, I don't have one either. There's no mods folder here. We just need to make one. So right click, create a new folder, title that folder mods, M-O-D-S, all lowercase, exactly like that, a mods folder, and then go ahead and open up your mods folder. Now we want to take the voxel map mod we downloaded. As you can see, it says fabric mod, voxel map. You want to drag that into your mods folder, and you want to take the fabric API that we downloaded and drag that into your mods folder. Again, confirm that this does say fabric mod at the beginning. If it says forge mod, it won't work. It needs to say fabric mod, voxel map, and then we need the fabric API in here as well. Now, finally, we can get these open in Minecraft. To do that, you want to open up the Minecraft launcher here. Just the default normal Minecraft launcher that we all know and love, except that's not the right one. <laughs> Fail. The default normal Minecraft launcher here that we all know and love. Boom, here we are. Now, by default, it'll probably say this, fabric-loader, right like so. If it does, you can go ahead and click play. But if it doesn't, click the little arrow here to the left of the play button and select the fabric-loader. However, what if it's not there at all, right? What if you scroll down, you're, there is no fabric-loader here. Well, if that's the case, click on installations up here at the top. And then you want to go ahead and click on the plus new button here. So click on installations at the top and click on plus new. Then you want to name this. You can name it whatever you want. I'm going to name it play.breakdowncraft.com. Why am I name it that? Because that is our incredible Minecraft server. We have Greed Protected Survival with an incredible medieval survival server that has 30 custom quests and a player based economy. We've also got Aquatic Survival with a slash shop based economy. And then we do have amazing custom factions that resets in season two very, very soon. So season two of factions coming very, very soon with tons of new features. And then last but not least, we do have amazing custom skyblock with Finch Generator. OP enchantments, 1.8 PvP, custom challenges, custom islands. It's amazing. So come play with us. Play.breakdowncraft.com is the IP. Then you want to click on this versions drop down. This is the important part. Click on the versions drop down here and then refine release fabric dash loader right like so. So go ahead and click on release fabric dash loader there and you'll be good to go. However, if you don't have this at the top, don't be afraid to scroll down and find it. And then if you don't have it at all, just reinstall the fabric installer that we had earlier, right? That fabric installer, just rerun it and install it and you'll be good. So let's go ahead and release fabric dash loader right like so. And then the resolution, we do need to change that. You don't have to, I just need to because I'm making a video here. So change your resolution and then click create. Now we have this new profile at the bottom. In our case, it's called play.breakdowncraft.com. And we want to check that it says fabric-loader under it, which it does. And we want to make sure it says 1.16.1 after that. If all that's good, we can go ahead and hover over that new version we created, or installation, and then click the green play button. Now, Fabric and Minecraft is going to open up with the Voxel minimap mod installed. You have now added a minimap to Minecraft. Now, it might take a while to open up. 1.16 in general, I've noticed, is taking quite a while to open up. I don't know if that's because of the new load screen or something else, but guess what? It's going to take even longer with the Fabric mod and all that installed. So just wait here a second, and here it is opening up without any issues. Now, again, it's going to take a while. Free stuff like that happens. It's okay, but it's just let it sit, let it work, let it do its thing, and then eventually it will take you to the main menu. Now, from the main menu, there's no indication that you have the minimap mod installed, right? You'll see you have fabric installed down here in the bottom left. As you can see, fabric is down there in the bottom left. There's no indication that there's a minimap here. The only way to do that is to jump in game somewhere. And of course, we're going to try it on the best Minecraft server in the multiverse, play.breakdowncraft.com. So we're going to join in here and check things out. And boom, hit right away with the voxel map there. As you can see, all the options with the voxel map are here. So you can see it's maintained by this person. Translated, if this is not your language, help translate it. You can zoom out with Z, right? You can zoom out with Z. You can press M to open up the bigger map. And there's some other options there as well that I kind of skipped. But yes, yeah, so this is Breakdown Craft Medieval Survival Spawn. It is it is really cool. I love this spawn. But it makes perfect for a mini map just because it's so beautiful, right? So anyway, we can jump through here and check things out on this mini map. So let's just do that. Let's run through. Boom, boom, boom. As you explore new areas, by the way, more things will be added to your minimap. So now we can go ahead and hit M, and we've explored the kind of the town down here and all this stuff. If we do slash shop, that's going to take us to our public marketplace where we can hit M. There's that. But if we zoom out, we can see that's how the relation is between those two. So awesome stuff there. I absolutely love this minimap mod and absolutely love Breakdown Craft. 135 people online right now, random 5 o'clock on a Thursday. So come play this. Play.breakdowncraft.com is the IP. Enjoy your new minimap. My name is Nick. This has been The Breakdown. Thank you all so, so much for watching. Give the video a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel for more awesome content. And I am out. Peace.